Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. For years, we've been talking about this thing called VoIP, voice over IP. I've written about it a, a few times and talked about it as well in earlier videos. And uh, we had a question that was submitted into our chat room earlier today by Amuse AJ. It says, hey, Chris, do you run Skype on Vista? Because it does not work for me. Uh, well, that, the answer to that question is yes. And uh, a longer answer to the question, what is Skype? Uh, it's a program that uh, runs on just about any platform it can be developed for, Linux, OS X, uh, Windows. Uh, there is a uh, apparently someone who's put together a version of Skype for uh, the iPhone, which was just talking to my speakers, apparently. Uh, the, uh, so Skype is available uh, on just about any platform, and it will enable you to use the internet to communicate with people in voice, text, or visually as well. And Skype has been uh, actively developed over the past few years and has certainly gained a tremendous amount of users. Uh, in fact, um, my phones, my phone system that I have here at home uh, has a Skype dongle or attachment that allows me to communicate with my Skype buddies using a, a regular old phone. So Skype has hardware, it's got software, and it just is, it exists to really uh, separate you from the phone company. And you know what? More power to Skype. I do run Skype on a daily basis. However, I really don't use it to call people up or uh, communicate by video all that much, largely because I have a lot of friends and quite honestly because it's just as easy to email someone than it is to pick up the phone and talk to them. And there are rare occasions when, of course, a video conference or a phone call certainly suffices or does better than a text uh, message does email or even SMS text message. So does it work on Vista? Yes, it does work on Vista. I can tell you this question was asked today. Um, Skype was having problems, uh, and I think they're having some connectivity issues, at least today uh, they have been. I thought it was just me as well, but it turns out that I think it's a network problem. I noticed a few people were twittering away saying, Skype isn't working, or it's finally working again. So sometimes it's not the program that's a problem, it's the actual internet that's the problem. Uh, sometimes it's more and more difficult to troubleshoot these issues because you're not, you know, just stuck here on the desktop. You have to rely on the internet connection working. You have to rely on your ISP working. You have to rely on all these different issues. Uh, but at its core level, yes, Skype does work with Windows Vista. We've talked about going in uh, into uh, the compatibility mode for all these programs inside of Windows Vista or Windows XP. Uh, you can, of course, do your research on that. Uh, we've, as I said, we've we've done that. You can look for it in the archives. Um, you know, in terms of finding software that's compatible with Vista, I think a lot of the leading programs certainly are compatible. Or if they're not, they're working on updates to make those programs compatible or more compatible with Windows Vista. Um, I, you know, for the most part, haven't run into any core issues with general software in Windows Vista. It's largely the interactivity between software and hardware, as in driver support that I've, I've run into snags, and then just general operating system um, quirkiness inside of Windows Vista. Uh, I don't know. I've got Skype running, but I really don't take advantage of it as I think more people do. I've got an account. Uh, you probably do too. I'm not going to share my account information with you right now uh, because then people would be calling me at all hours of the day, which I don't mind. Uh, but I much prefer email. Chris at Perillo.com. Of course, you can leave a follow-up uh, response talking about what you think about Skype or VoIP in general. Um, these uh, Using the internet to communicate certainly sounds good to me. Uh, or if you don't use Skype, what other voice over IP application do you choose to use to communicate with your friends by voice or video? I'm interested in learning. I'm interested in seeing all the new things that are out there, especially if it's a better alternative. Gizmo might be one. Uh, what is it? The Gizmo Project or Project Gizmo? I... I can never remember which way it goes. Anyway, uh, let me know or let us know. Share your information with the community. And of course, you're welcome to join the community anytime, day or night. There's really no official registration needed for you to come into the chat room. Uh, I'm blogging every day at chris.perillo.com. The podcasts are being archived at media.perillo.com. And of course, we're chatting live 24 hours a day at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.